All right, bud. So I'm going to show you one of the stretches that I like to do. Again, if this is causing you pain, that means your groin's not ready for it. But this is a nice way to work on sort of both muscles that are working as hip flexors. So watch this. I'm going to take a knee. I'm going to get set. The first thing that I'm going to do, I want you to look. Watch me do the little Michael Jackson with my hips. Okay, so watch this. See how I'm doing like a little tuck right there? So right there. So I'm kind of in this lengthened position. Before I even try to go into a stretch, I'm going to pelvic tuck right there. Boop. So I'm clenching my cheek, and now my hip is, it's, I'm already feeling a stretch. From here, staying tucked, staying packed. I'm going to shift forward. So this first movement here, this is a hip flexing stretch, so really more of a true hip flexor stretch. So what I'm doing is you can see from here to here, and if anything, I'm even just trying to push this hip through. However, what I'm not doing yet is I'm not doing a huge stretch through my knee. You can see that that angle right there is still pretty big. So I'm going to spend some time in here just pushing my hip through. Push, push, push. And then as I get to, let's go back for a second. As I get my hips set and it kind of relaxes for a little bit, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack the other hip flexor, which is your biggest quad muscle. So that acts as not only a pressing or an extending muscle, but as a hip flexor. So just because you have flexible hips does not mean you'll have flexible mobility because your quads might be tight. So what I'm going to do, and this is important, without losing this line here, I'm going to hinge backwards, okay? So again, I cannot let anything in here turn off. So my glute is still firing, and I'll watch this. I'm going to slowly start to bring my whole body, whole body backwards, backwards, backwards. Now again, I couldn't do this for the longest time. I used to be able to get to right about here before, you know, I would start to hyperextend my lower back. So you're going to go as far as you can. What I'm going to try to do is I want to try to go back until I actually contact my own heels. I'm pushing, pushing. I'm really, really exaggerating, squeezing my butt, extending this close hip. Back, 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 back. And then right about here, that's, this is about as far as I can go. You can see that my hamstring and my calf are actually touching each other. And right about here, boom. This is a big stretch for me. So once I get here, I'll, a lot of times I'll actually lose my stretch. So I'm still going to try to focus on this line. This big line here is still nice and straight. I'm still just exaggerating pelvic tucking. And I guarantee you this is an amazing, we'll just say hip, quad, everything stretch. So for as much pressing work as you do, this is something I would do on the regular. And again, you may not get remotely close to where I am yet. You might be more like here. Or help, man, even here. It doesn't matter where you start off somewhere and then we can measure from here we can see you know how the angles are you know changing changing you know have you improved or not so that's the first thing again if this is setting your groin off though don't do it